who else but John Franco who really showed you some emotion regarding the uh, victory that he ended up with. It looked like a loss for a minute for Frank and then it turned into a victory. And we're going to be looking at some of those replays in just a moment right after this message from Budweiser. Stadium between the two games of the doubleheader, we are doing Connor's Corner in the studio, and our guest is John Franco. And John, you had been on the mound for nine days, it's a wonder you knew where it was. <laughs> yeah, it showed a little bit out there. Off, um, you know, my changeup was quite a bit all over the place, and really didn't feel too comfortable with my fastball. I was moving in and out. Uh, really, was staying up a lot, and I'm usually a sinker ball pitcher, so uh, it showed, but I got it out of the way. Tell me a little bit about the ball call, because that was really a strange call. Bases loaded, the game could have been decided on the call by Doug Harvey, the home plate umpire. There's no deception of the runners involved in any way. Not even many antenna involved in the balk was called. Well, you know, I, I, I did the same thing every time out there, and, uh, I, you know, it's just, just a shame that yeah, there's a stop right there. And, I mean, I did it every time. And, you know, I pitched here twice last year against the Mets, and, and twice Doug was the umpire, and he called balks on me twice. So I did everything I could to get it thrown out of that game. I don't think he didn't want to throw me out of the game. So. You're, you're a little volatile right here, well, to say I'm the a, least. I'm huh? an emotional person. I don't mind losing, but you know, on a hit or an error or something like that. But when it's got to be decided by a balk, that's a that's a that's a sorry way to lose a ball game. Well, that ball call put the Houston Ball Club up by one run, taking the lead by a score of four to three, and you finally settled down and got out of that inning. Uh, with no more runs scored, and then with a loss staring you in the face, the Mets came back with a dramatic comeback win. Well, that's, you know, that's, that's a big win for us. We needed that. Uh, the guys, you know, I, Kevin also told me just to give us a chance at him in the bottom of the inning, uh, you know, go back and get your composure a little bit, and get us out of the inning, and, and we'll get it back for you. And uh, sure enough, they did. Uh, it was a big win. Uh, you know, Tough got a big hit. He had a great game today, and uh, K-Mac just went deep. We're going to be back to talk some more with John. Take a look at how the Mets won that ball game in just a moment right after this message from that. John Frank, or our guest, and the Mets got a walk and then a big double by Tuffle to tie the ball game. And then here's Kevin McReynolds as he comes up with a game tied at four in the 11th inning. <laughs> when this ball was hit, John, I didn't think it was going to be out I, of the park. I didn't think so either. Uh, Frankie Viola was kept yelling, go, 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 and it just kept going. And... Uh... I about jumped out of my shoes when, when he hit it out of here. Well, here's the way, this is how you, yeah. you reacted to it all, right there. Well, you know, it goes around, comes around. I guess uh, that's an even up for the ball call right there. You Did know. you uh, say anything to Harvey? No, or, I, you know, I, I said my piece, and that was it. Uh, you know, Doug's a good umpire. It was just, uh, I, I just thought he made a bad call at that particular moment. And, uh, you know, second game, if I get in there, it's just, you know, forget all Starts about it. Starts all over yeah. again, uh, zero, zero. Well. We'll be back in a moment with more right after this message from Mitsubishi Motors. Franco in the most emotional game of the year for the New York Mets as they won it by a score of seven to four. And John, you went from a loser to a winner in a hurry, and it's been a great start for you. Yeah, so far, and uh, that's the main thing I wanted to do when I got traded over here and get off to a good start. And uh, you know, I got pretty, some pretty good opportunities to get uh, the ball and uh, some safe situations. And today, come in, uh, I haven't pitched in nine days, and I needed to pitch. And uh, Davey threw me out there today, and and. Thank God I got a win out of it. <laughs> well, you might be right back in there in that second ball game. Well, that's fine by me. Uh, you know, I'll just go in and ice a little bit right now, and uh, hopefully uh, they won't need me the second game. Ronnie will go nine, but if they do, I'll, I'll be out there. John Franco, thank you very much for coming on. Okay, Ralph. Thanks. Congratulations on a great win, and we'll return in just a moment right after this message from Bud Light. Ron Darling for the Mets and Mark Portugal going for the Houston Astros. Mets winning 7-4. to four. Kiner's Corner has been brought to you by Bud Light. Everything else is just a light. Man who put the Mets over the top, and that is Kevin McReynolds. We'll return to talk with him right after this message from Bud Light. Both games won by Kevin McReynolds on home runs. And Kevin... According to our resident historian, Tim McCarver, this is the anniversary of the day that Arkansas succeeded from the Union. And uh, you're from Arkansas, Little Rock, as a matter of fact. Did you know that? I didn't know it until you just said it. <laughs> sure didn't. Well, you succeeded. Not succeeded, but succeeded. <laughs> and uh, you really came through at the right time. In the 11th inning, let's take a look in the videotape replay as Kevin McReynolds comes up here with two men on. Johnson had been walked intensely before, and that's Dave Smith. Well, it was a changeup. Uh, he was behind the count, and I hit the ball pretty good, and I didn't know if it was going out the way the left fielder was chasing it, but I got out of there and made a winner of a 
of John Franco after a rough, I think it was 11th inning. 11th inning is right, and that was a three-run home run, your third home run of the year. And then in the eighth inning, the final at bat for the Mets, as it turned out, you came up against Dan Schottsider, and uh, this one coming off a 3-1 fastball. It was a fastball right out of the heart of the plate, and I hit that ball pretty good. I knew where it was going when I hit it. No doubt about that one. Not at all. Well, Kevin, this has been probably the most exciting day the Mets have had this year and probably as exciting as anything they had last year, and you were a part of it, a doubleheader win. And, of course, the Mets got off to that slow start, and the enthusiasm on the Mets today was certainly interesting to see and fun to see. Well, there is certainly some fireworks at the end of the first game, and we came out kind of blah in the second game, but a big three-run home run from Mackie Sasser and uh, you know, those are the types of things we really need to do to turn something around. Uh, not just a one nothing game, but something where we have to come from behind and really have to struggle to get a win. And we did that, and we did it in both games. And hopefully that's going to get us over the hump. Well, I think that certainly is a turning point for the Mets this year. And, of course, the home run's coming at the right time. And the Mets, of course, lead the National League in home runs. And you're off now to a fine start. You have hit in 14 of your last 15 games and hitting extremely well over those 15 games. Well, the last three or four days, I felt like I'm starting to approach the pitchers a lot better. I'm seeing the ball better. I feel like I'm getting better rips, and consequently, I've started hitting the ball harder. Even some outs have been hit hard. And it's one of those things where I haven't got off to a good start, but now I feel like things are starting to come into place, and hopefully I can be a force to be reckoned with. Well, you certainly were a force to be reckoned with here today, and then congratulations on a great doubleheader, and also thank you for coming on. All right, my pleasure, Ralph. Kevin McReynolds, and we'll return right after this message from NatWest Bank.